Warning, you only have a few minutes to survive after being bitten by a tarantula. Despite their scary appearance, tarantulas are very dangerous and deadly, and I have to say that if you don't follow the solutions at the end of the video after being bitten, I'm sorry, but you will die. Tarantulas are venomous. All species of this spider have an appendage close to their mouth called chalicerae. The spider uses this thing like a bandage like a hypodermic needle to inject its prey and deliver potent venom. Tarantulas are carnivores and they need their strong venom to take on prey. Although they mostly eat insects and smaller spiders, some species are large enough to take on bigger prey such as lizards, rodents, birds and even snakes. They can also defend themselves against bigger animals that may try to prey on them. To do all of these, tarantulas rely on their potent venom. To kill prey, they inject a venom strong enough to immobilize the prey as quickly as possible to prevent it from getting away. The tarantula's venom is a type of nerve poison. It attacks the electrical signaling system of their prey's nerve cells, immobilizing the animal instantly. This way, the tarantula can secrete digestive juices that liquefy the envenomated animal from the insides, making it possible for the spider to suck it out. Although the thought of a tarantula biting you is horrifying, you should know that claims about a tarantula venom being strong enough to kill a man is just a myth. The toxin itself is relatively harmless to humans. Of course, a tarantula's bite is quite painful at being bitten by what is not a pleasant experience. Many have compared the pain to getting stung by a bee. For most people, the effect of a tarantula bite rarely goes beyond localized pain and redness. However, a few people can experience severe allergic reactions due to the venom. This may be life-threatening, especially if not medical attention is provided. In rare cases, some victims have reported hives or contact dermatitis. These side effects are more of allergic reactions to the toxin rather than a direct effect of the venom. Gangrene has also been reported in extreme and rare cases. Before we continue, please like this video. Now the question is, what happens if a tarantula bites you? Depending on the spider species, you may experience mild to severe pain. The side of the bite will also be red, warm and swollen for a few days. Victims sometimes experience itching, bumps or blisters at the bite side. People who are allergic to tarantula venom will experience more severe symptoms. This may include trouble breathing, skin rashes, puffy eyes, swollen throat and lips, low blood pressure and rapid heart rate. In the video of the most giant spiders, someone told me in the comments that spiders are cute. Do you agree with this? So what should you do if a tarantula bites you? Most victims of tarantula bites recover well with home treatment. Itching and irritation often subside quickly, but the pain may last several hours. Only in rare cases do spider bites result in hospitalization. Bleeding may occur at the side of the bite. In this case, immediate wound care should be administered to stop bleeding and reduce pain or inflammation. Some of the things you can do include wash the side with water and soap, place ice on the area to relieve pain and swelling, keep the effective limb in an elevated position, use topical steroids and anti-allergy drugs to alleviate itching, and for severe pain, use pain relievers. I suggest that you take a look at the videos of the channel, and if you like it, be sure to subscribe. 